So laser speckle interferometry is a technique that's used to detect changes in material. It's used in thin film analysis. It's also used to, to detect problems with wings and aircraft. We use it here at the Getty Conservation Institute to be able to detect voids in wall paintings. It's a very simple technique that we've been able to make very cheap and hopefully be able to be used by the conservators as just another tool in their toolbox. The way the technique works is we pass a laser beam through a microscope objective. As the beam passes through that microscope objective, it's dispersed onto the wall. Most walls have a surface roughness to them, so when that dispersed beam passes back off the wall, it interferes with itself. And when it interferes with itself, it creates a pattern, which we can see this pattern here on the screen. A bright speckle is a positive interference, whereas a dark speckle is negative interference. So if we induce a change in the wall, we're able to see where the wall is actually detached. Here we have a person who's gently touching the wall, and we can see where the areas are detached because it looks almost spongy on the screen. Now, if this were the only way in which we could use this method, it really wouldn't be an advance over what the conservators already use. Conservators generally use their finger to be able to tell where a void is. They simply tap and feel or hear the void that they're looking for. Now with this, if we have to have them touching the wall, it's really not a change from what they're already doing. But if we couple this technique with an acoustic frequency scan, then we're able to detect the voids remotely without ever touching the wall.